Are you ready? We live right now? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Put my water down. That's good. Yeah, those are good. Use that one. We need to use that one a lot. <laughs> Just on. <laughs> 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 this is great. This is a fun intro. Hey, Nick Murphy in the building. Yes. 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 Love that. Oh, you know this song. First thing Common says is... No. <laughs> I thought you were going to play the Eddie Murphy song. but I was. Oh, okay. <clears throat> then I, this song just popped in my head. That's okay, too. It's, gonna, it's we're, cool. We, we just go with it, man. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I have heard this song before. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There it is. Yeah. That's my this is my jam right here. Yeah. <clears throat> we got one of the famous Murphys in the building. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, somebody brought me on stage Not like Uncle that one Ray. time. <clears throat> Not uh, Charlie. That's Not li- Eddie. This, is, this is literally how somebody brought me up on an open mic one time. Open mic. Nick Murphy. Not Eddie. Not Charlie. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no shit, man. All the podcast <laughs> is is open mic jokes. Yeah. Sitting down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looking official. That's okay. With equipment that reminds people of radio when you had to, like, fill out an application and know things yeah, in yeah. order to be in front of a microphone. But now anybody can start one. Now yeah. anybody can start one. Welcome <laughs> to the show, <laughs> Nick you, you buy a DJ. You get your DJ board. And come then on. If, it gets, like, if it gets boring, you hit the sound effects. Come man. on, come on. It's, a, or it's an easy formula. Sometimes you could kill the vibe with sound effects. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think we're going to do that today. <laughs> no, that's not the plan. I think that's it's going to enhance. It's only yeah. going to enhance the vibe. I, I haven't done one yeah. facing the person I'm talking to. Yeah, I've seen some of the clips of this, and this seemed like a different this studio. This is a different studio. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first uh, of maybe many in this studio, maybe maybe a one of one. Yeah. The, the, we'll find <laughs> out. We will find out. Where do you, how do you normally face the person on I'm the I'm normally podcast? facing the camera. Yeah, and then they and face then, the camera? And then they face the camera. Wow. And then we're kind of like next to each other type of thing. Now it feels like we're on a date or something. Just across the table. Or yeah. just getting some food. Or just getting some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, there's only one table left. Yeah. And it's got two chairs. Yeah. All right, I'll sit across from my bro. Would you still prefer, though, to face the same direction? Or would you I still? I think restaurant rules are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at a restaurant, it's probably better to sit across from somebody. Of course. If you sit next to somebody. Now it's serious. And they're not your kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's kind of like, like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm on dates and my my wife will want to sit next to me, and oh, to yeah. me that feels wrong. That feels wrong to do. To that? me, that feels like that's what like people who, like we we we're not we're not that couple anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. don't have to sit next to each other. Give me some space. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like sitting up front with your Uber driver or something. Yeah, I like, sitting next to somebody in a booth is goofy. Yeah, two yeah. two a two man one side two two man in a booth. No. That's gonna that's gonna draw some <laughs> eyes. Maybe in L A. that's normal. Yeah, yeah. In L A. people, I mean in Atlanta, people are gonna look at you. I just meant man like mankind. Oh, I didn't mean okay. like like I just okay. meant I just meant man like person. I'm that yeah, type yeah. of old. No, no, no. I, but I'm but I'm the same. I'm the same way. I don't want to sit next to somebody either. You know. I mean, I mean, man, like like the Constitution means man. Like you know? just yeah, yeah, yeah. The generic. Well, I guess maybe maybe I don't know. Who said ah that that might have been in a comment. There was ah oh, I never mind. Okay. <laughs> Nick is in town from Atlanta. Yes. Are you are you originally from Atlanta? Yeah, I'm from Decatur. From Decatur, yeah. where it's greater. That's where it's. That's what the people say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The city of Decatur. Technically, yeah, that's on the the address. Yeah, yeah, on the on the east side. Yes. There's so many people who are east of Atlanta that claim Decatur. I that it makes Decatur like like to people who aren't from Atlanta. Yeah. They think it's this huge place. Right, right, right. Because. People in Latonia claim Decatur. People Swapped, in and like this was what the uh, Amaretta the Great Wood. song is about. Do you remember yeah, that song? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You can play that if you want to. Oh yeah, I love Amaretta. Yeah, yeah. Has she dropped any other bangers like that, or just the ones? So uh, far? 
You can kind of get away with that now. You can drop one banger and well, I th- doing I think rolling loud, you know? Uh, I think that Amaretta got, a, like, a lot of attention from, like, her freestyles okay. on, like, Instagram and stuff. She gotcha, would just be, gotcha. like, freestyling yeah. in her room or whatever. Uh-huh. So, like, I think a lot of people believe in her rapping ability. Of course. But I don't, I don't know if she's had the same, like, song structure mechanics around her like some of the other artists. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, it's called Sorry Not Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Great music video. Right. And, Not shot it, in Atlanta. Well, oh, I, see, I, I didn't even know that. Where's it? Uh... It's shot in the Battery, which is like oh, yeah, of now course, of course. technically yeah, 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 yeah. Atlanta because <laughs> the Braves are there. Right, but, it, but it's That's not... Cobb County to yeah, us, yeah, yeah, real yeah. ass exactly. AT aliens. It's not Turner Field anymore. What hospital? What hospital? This, was, this was going crazy on Twitter <laughs> yeah. for, for days about people debating because I think the conversation needed to be had, you know? I love it. Yeah. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. And I don't, I, uh, there's probably one thing in the song that I don't, I'm not a Grady baby. Neither am I. So I don't, you know, yeah. but everything else, I'm like, heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk shit about those Braves. Get them out of here. And I like that she got attention from her bars. It wasn't like, hey, yeah, yeah. her butt's out. You right, know what right, I'm right. saying? Hey. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. saying the wild stuff. Oh, she yeah. flashed the Name camera names, online. Rob. Who needs to put their butt away? Who needs to do that? I, I'm not on the that side. Of, of, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pro. I'm very pro butt. If anyone <laughs> yeah, looks yeah, yeah. through my old likes, they'll, they'll tell oh, you. Oh, that's I'm, very funny. I'm very pro butt. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying that, you know. In a music conversation, of course, it's cool of course, that yeah. music is the conversation. That that's the number one. Yeah, yeah. Because right. there's a lot of people that don't do music. They just got butts. Yeah, yeah. They're doing fine. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's a, there's a way to do that now. Right, right. Who's who's your favorite butt? My favorite butt, like in music, or just that exists. Just period. Uh, Seymour. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beavis. Well, uh, I guess not Beavis, but his friend. Well, the one I was just going to bring up would be Meg Thee Stallion. I mean, no, she's pretty. She's. I mean, is she considered so good at rapping? Also, I mean, I know Kamala yeah. Harris likes her, but. <laughs> 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 Were you at the rally? I was not at the rally. Oh, uh, no. you missed it. No, no. I mean, I saw plenty you of footage. Meg Thee Stallion in a suit. Uh, I saw plenty of footage, but yeah. I, did not, I did not see the. Uh... I think there were some missed opportunities there. Uh, I felt like. Like she never like said anything yeah. about anything. It was just like she just did a set. Are you talking about uh Kamala or Meg the Stallion? Meg the Stallion. Yeah, but she never said anything political. But Do you want to hear thought, some like statements? Well, I would like to hear like, hey, you guys out there. Yeah. Are you tired of the Supreme Court <laughs> yeah, yeah. trying to rule in the back over of the... your Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> and then drop the hit Yeah You could have ridden for this You should have ridden for this You should have been on the team Yeah yeah But they would never come up with that You know Right Did she do that song Or no She might have did it It was pretty funny Watching her Like do, do the some of the stuff And of then they would show the old, Some old white people's faces In the crowd Just have yeah. no idea What's going on You know There was one white guy That was there Who was very turned up To yeah. not like us yeah, And yeah. he went viral Oh Okay Yeah yeah yeah, yeah He yeah, was yeah. like right there Like on the aisle Yeah Nothing like hearing that song On C-SPAN though For sure <laughs> For sure. Well, that's the a lot of those are going viral. Where it's where it's white people or some other demographic go crazy mm-hmm, to that song, mm-hmm. and you know. <clears throat> uh, you were telling me earlier today that you were a a water bottle boy. On I was the a wa- I was a water bottle boy. Yeah. How uh, was that? Well, I mean, it's pretty much what it looks like. Although we weren't as aggressive as these guys. Now I've heard they yeah. like they'll break your window. I've heard that'll happen if you don't really? buy water from them. Yeah, Jeez. I've heard of that happening. Uh, please don't break my rental window. Please don't break our windows. Yeah. But, uh, no, shout out to Atlanta Select. That's the basketball team I played for back in the day. It was an AAU team. You played AAU basketball? For a long time, yeah. Did you ever play against the Atlanta Celtics? So they split off from the Celtics, yeah. Oh, okay. Because when I was was in high school, the Celtics were in Sports Illustrated. Yeah, so the Celtics and the Georgia Stars, when I was playing, were the two squads Mm -hmm. that were just ridiculous. I mean, they had, like... Dwight Howard, Josh Smith. Yeah. Um, 
and two a, a guy named Tony Hill was the coach that split off from the Celtics and he started okay. his own organization called Atlanta Select. So they didn't quite get, you know, the Josh Smiths and the Dwight Howards, but they were still but they pretty good. They got the Nick Murphys. They got the Nick Murphys. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what position did you play? Small forward. Small, Small forward. Small forward shooting guard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Had a had a nice little jump shot. Yeah. Back in the day, yeah. All right. Um but yeah, so, you know, they also didn't have the same funding because he had just split off from a bigger organization. Got you. So that means we got to get out there, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, maybe he did, but I didn't see a lot of photos of Dwight Howard being a water bottle boy. I think that would be pretty funny if he was just standing there at the— You're giving him water. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. seven foot. I don't, think he has to, I don't think he has to ask. You're giving him water. You just roll your window down. Here you go, buddy. And you're like, yo, remember <laughs> yeah. me. Hey, when you get in the league, remember me, man. You got to shout your info remember out. Remember me. Shout your yeah. name out. Shout your small business out. Right, he can right. plug you. I yo, my, my space is— <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't even think you need to hear the pitch. You just have your money. Out. Yeah, I, I know what's going on. Good luck, yeah, Good luck yeah. in uh, Orlando. I know? mean— Dwight was like a legend when he was in eighth grade. Yeah. Because he's like a year older than me. Okay. He was already like six feet something. That sounds right. And everyone like was saying, hey, there's this tall kid that's he's probably gonna go to the league. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I feel like I feel like Dwight missed out on being everyone else's size. Uh I would agree with that. Yeah. You know, I feel like he'd have like different a different post game if you started out like Right. Well the game was also size. different back then too, you know. There wasn't yeah. like you know now you got Victor Wembanyama that just does everything because that's the thing now, you know. But yeah. back then like I don't even remember. I, I doubt Dwight ever did any kind of two ball <laughs> dribbling, any kind but of like KG was in the league. That's true. Like, That's like true. there were, there were like Duncan. Like there was, there uh, were. But he's, I still don't put them as like a, a, a in the same category as like a Kevin Durant that can. Like, Did you ever size see you KG? Like, like, yeah, he could. I know he could KG dribble. KG would take like like coast to coast. He I could, know. Like, I know. He could dribble. Yeah, he was still he a little was... stiff though. He wasn't as smooth as Kevin Durant. You know. But but uh, you but you needed that to get to the next you know. I think KG was like a little bit of a little bit of everything. He was, he absolutely I, was. And, I and I'm not it, taking away from Kevin Durant. I'm just saying you're taking away from Kevin Garnett. Oh, I mean Kevin Garnett. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you tell me who has better handles, Kevin Durant or Kevin Garnett? Kevin Durant. That's, has that's all I'm better saying. Handles that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to take away from say. Kevin Garnett. I'm just saying it's, it's smoother, you know. But you need I that guess. update. You got to update the software, you know. Do you? Well, yeah. I'm, that's... I'm not one of those guys. I'm one of those guys that's like the talent has never gotten better. It's just the technology, equipment, and information. You saying you are improved. that, or you're not that? I no that no. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that you you put Wilt Chamberlain yeah, yeah. today, yeah, with with all the training, analytics, yeah, yeah, yeah. training, yeah. Leather sneakers. Sure, sure, sure. Elastic in his socks. Yeah, yeah. No belt. Right. He's going ham. He's still going to have good games. He's going yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's still going to play well. Bill Russell. There's a lot of guys that no can translate. No racism. Yep. No belt well, on his I, uniform. I wouldn't say no racism. Well, only racism in Utah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Boston. Yeah, it's still Boston, <laughs> which is who he played with his whole career. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Same fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, just one point. I hear going. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They did a thing on that with sprinters, actually. That They think it's just the, I te- saw the that. technology. I yeah. saw that. They were, like, the top sprinter. Between, like, Jesse Owens to now or something like that? It wasn't Jesse Owens. It it was, whoever it was. It was some guy from, like, 100 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah who yeah. ran, like, a 10-something. Right. And now they run, like, a 9-something. But they think it's just the shoes and the track. different shoes, and the, yeah, different yeah, yeah, track. Yeah. I've seen that. Different, yeah. So you don't subscribe to J.J. Reddick's theory, then, that if you planted LeBron in, like, the Bob Cousy era— yeah, you know. No, I don't subscribe to that at all. Right, right. Because they they were stricter. The plumbers, the plumbers and firefighters. What? Yeah. Why did someone having a job and still playing an eighty-one game season make them less of See? an athlete than a millionaire? 
Well, maybe because uh, I get well, then that goes to the training, right? They'd have less time to train, I guess. So because they're always fighting fires or whatever they're doing out there. What do you mean? They're better people, probably. Fighting fires is probably uh, all training. kind of training. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I can't wait till the basketball season's over, yep. so that that six six athletic guy right. can like carry the hose. Oh man, you think you think they, <laughs> you think they can't fight fires if they're in season? That's very funny, actually. Yeah. I, I will <laughs> Well, maybe they could, but they got to travel. They're not traveling on planes. I lost. They're my... traveling on buses. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, they didn't even. They flew commercial in right. the eighties. Right, right. So just imagine, like the reason the finals was two three two yeah. was just because traveling was such a nightmare. For sure. Think of these players from that time. Of course. Got private jets. Yeah, yeah. Leather shoes. All the luxuries. Yeah. No belts. Yeah. Less racism. Uh, yeah, a little less. Come on, I man. Mean, th- yeah. Come on. <laughs> I like the idea, though, that they can't go fight the fires. I lost my wife last night. Why? Well, Celtics were in Dallas well, last yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, oh, Bob Cousy couldn't get the night off to come fight this Bob fire. Bob Cousy did not have a side job. <laughs> Bob Cousy had, had endorsements with cigarette companies. That's probably, that sounds right. <laughs> See that's the other problem. Now now they're going now they're going backwards, you know. You could smoke cigarettes yes. at the game yep. back then. Locker room, all that stuff. At the game, Dude, you could God, smoke. I mean, even, now if you smoke a cigarette, LeBron yeah. will cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll kick you out. You're not playing the rest of the In the, the middle game. of crypto, they'll if I just out. pull out a cigarette and yeah, start yeah. smoking it Nick. like I'm at a concert, <laughs> they're going to kick me out. D'Angelo Russell just, just lighting a yeah. cigarette. I can't deal with LeBron. Dude. This I is can't. getting tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> at the do end, I pass, at do the I end shoot? of games, uh, Red Arbeck would smoke a cigar. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. To like be like, "Yo, we won another championship." He would start smoking every, every a cigar. Sport, yeah. Every sport, they're smoking cigarettes in the in the yeah, dugout, but, baseball. But those sports are outdoors. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Outdoor sports, you do whatever you want. It's very different than like an indoor yeah, situation, yeah, yeah. filling up know. the locker room. But they didn't know about secondhand smoke. Of course not. Yeah. No. They didn't even know firsthand smoke was bad, no. let alone second. Well, that's why <laughs> that's why he said endorsement deals with doctors, right? <laughs> with the they were vouching for cigarettes back right. then. Right? No, Bob yeah, Cousy. Yeah. Ha- I have an ad in my phone of Bob Cousy, yeah. like saying I smoke Kent cigarettes. That's great. They're like yeah, the yeah. best for like doing sports. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, you know? like it's Gatorade. Yeah, that'd be like LeBron doing a chewing tobacco ad or something today. Mm-hmm. You know, that'd yeah. be hilarious. Yeah. Or even vaping, if he did a vaping thing, maybe. Right. But uh, because on Showtime, they were doing blow in the locker room. That's when they they stepped it up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the the 70s, they they had some blow. Blow was popular. Yeah. Blow was popular. Still is. They have money. Yeah, yeah. Is it? I think so. I think it. I think people do it a little more undercover, but like you know, I don't it's think, not as out I in the think open. Blow was way more popular in the seventies than it is now. I well, think it's pretty, around, pretty but fentanyl. it's not like now you got fentanyl. It's not like dominating. Like I can't think. What's the last Blow song that you could think of? Yeah, I can't. Let's I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's one rule on this podcast. We yeah. we don't Google anything. We don't look anything up. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we just maybe uh, uh, just uh, OT, OT Genesis brains. probably would be the last one. But OT that was Genesis. more about selling it than yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, but that's yeah. still. I mean, that's a, that was a banger. You yeah, know? yeah. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's strictly what that song was about. <laughs> yeah, was. yeah. Doing some blow, cutting some blow, selling some blow. Another yeah, I, guy, another guy that ended up, you know, touring just off the one, uh, at least with the one main. Oh no, OT Genesis got a bunch. I mean, that's what made him. At least I think. Love that. Who is Judy? I don't know. But what do they do to you? Maybe that's the teacher that told him he'll never make it or something. You know. Maybe that's, a lot of rappers always have beef with their teachers later. Whoa. Classic. <laughs> Classic. This should have been, this could have been our intro music also. Yeah. Feel free. I would love to come on stage with that song. Baking soda. I got baking I got ba- I've soda. I've got baking soda. <laughs> Whip it through the glass. And then he starts doing all these whoop noises. Whoop, whoop. It's great. It's so great. Yeah. 
step-by-step instructions on how to be a, <laughs> a great cocaine dealer. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. So anyway, but that was, I mean, however many years ago, you know. Right, right. So wait, That's th- like 12 years ago. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Ten? It was a while. So, 10 years ago? You're right. They're not They're not doing as outlandish, outspoken yeah. cocaine advocacy in music as, as much as they were, but... Did we just break a rule, by the way, by you Googling that? I didn't Google it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. So we're just, but we're allowed to play songs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Just want to yeah. understand the rules. Um, so yeah, Bob Cousy. This this <laughs> might be a candidate. Oh, I didn't even think about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the cocaine guy, dude. That's like half his shit. Him and Bruno Mars, I've heard. Yeah, they like to party. Well, Bruno got busted for coke. Well, there you go. That's even more and then, on brand then. And then Br- Bruno had to like, like tone it down. You know, <laughs> but, what, I'm but what does that mean if you're Bruno Mars? You know? That means stop talking about coke. <laughs> that means like I don't want y'all to think I'm on coke. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't feel like doing yeah, anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, now you you're saying, saying you're like, saying the opposite. Yo, I'm depressed, dog. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like I'll jump on a grenade for you. Uh, yep. You know what I'm saying? I'll, yep. I'll jump in front of a train for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I miss that sweet, right. sweet nose. <laughs> that's that's right. And they're like, Bruno, we got to cut out some of these lines. <laughs> cut out some of these lines. You said no, no. I mean, from the song, not like yeah. Put your picky finger yeah, to yeah. the moon. Yep. Come on, man. Yep. Come on, that's not sober. No. What what's a, what in other, your pinky finger? Yeah, what other reason would you have for doing what that? Is, what, what's on your pinky finger? Nothing. Nobody does that with a bare pinky. Come Nobody's on. raising a bare pinky to the yeah. sky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, The weekend for sure. I totally forgot about that. Mm-hmm, He's uh, Almost mm-hmm. every song is just... And TV show. This is what we're doing. Did you watch The Idol? No. So The weekend made a TV show. Okay. Basically about this dude named Tedros. Okay. And he... Uh, like started a cult through this pop singer okay but also like he's on cocaine the whole time is the weekend in the show the weekend is the show is he the is he the pop star is he the he's not the pop star oh, okay he's the he's the freeloading cocaine dealer man that starts the cult <laughs> nice yeah yeah nice. yeah uh, Johnny Depp's daughter is the pop star. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna have a show, you gotta have somebody's somebody's kids got to be on the show. Somebody's famous kid. Yeah, somebody's famous kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That'll sell tickets. Everybody's somebody's kid. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's famous kid. Not somebody's famous to kid. get an HBO show. You're right, right, right. No, that makes sense. So mm-hmm. he's ba- so he's just playing himself then uh, the weekend. That's the weird part because he he helped write it. Yeah, yeah. With Sam Levinson, so it's like. <laughs> Are you trying to tell us something? Well, of course. But how I mean there's a bunch of or, guys that have done that. Where they are you do trying it. to tell us about one of your friends? Who, <laughs> who, who are you trying to Your friend that about? looks exactly like you <laughs> and behaves exactly like you. The last episode yeah. they shot parts of it before the weekend's uh um HBO special okay. at SoFi Stadium. So there's like 70,000 people watching a scene from a show that they know nothing about yeah. before, <laughs> before they see a concert. Just a weird Oh, that's scene. hilarious. So they just drop to try to plug the thing? No, it's a part of the show. They, oh. They, like, they, oh. like, hey, I know you guys are here for this uh Oh, man. So now they're just in concert, the show. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we, we are starting a new show <laughs> okay. with the creative euphoria. Yeah, yeah. And we're shooting it right now. We're filming right so now. So this scene's not going to make any sense to any of you guys. Oh, that's great. But we need you to cheer when it's time to cheer. Yeah, All yeah. right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How do you react if you're in the concert right there? You're like concerts are so much about waiting on something to happen. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. you're probably just cheering yeah. that something happened. That something's happening. But also the weekend's concert special. Yeah. He looks nuts. Yeah, yeah. Cause he was wearing a wig on the show and they clearly like just snatched the wig off of him okay. and threw him out there to do right. one of the biggest concerts of his career. So you think the crowd even knew what, who they're looking at? I mean, surely, I think they right? knew who they were looking at, but I think also, like, he looks a little crazy. It, well, but that's, you know, that's but the that's weekend. part of the weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> concerts are, I'm glad you said the waiting. The The longest concert I ever waited at was a Riff Raff concert. Yeah? At the Georgia Theater in Athens, yeah. 
Was oh fun. man, was that fun? It was the funniest concert I've ever been to. I, it was fun. Did it, you go to Georgia? Yeah. Go dogs. Go dogs. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The best show I ever saw that was Run the Jewels. They were fantastic. Okay. Uh, but the funniest was Riff Raff. He was three hours late. Three hours. Three hours. Maybe late. maybe two and a half. But it was a Dang. lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But you're, you know, you're in college. I'm already at the show. It's like, right, well, you know, right, I'm a, nobody's right. leaving. Everybody still stayed, you know? Yeah. And uh, he comes out and, you know, Hannibal had a bit about this for a while that he just plays his song and then ad libs. Like he doesn't really do a lot of rapping. At oh, a live show. he was ahead of his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe, I mean, maybe Riff Raff was one of the first ones to be doing that. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because Hannibal made a bit about it. And it was extra funny to me because I saw it live. I'm like, that's exactly what he does. That's so funny. Yeah. And then Hannibal started doing it with his uh, stand-up, which was hilarious. But Where uh, he would play a stand-up. He'd play a stand-up clip. Yep. And that's then, and then so he would funny. he would say the last, you know, the punchline. Shout out to Hannibal Shout Burris, out to Hannibal man. Burris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he... Uh, <laughs> I mean... He is a funny Hannibal Burr. I mean, I, I don't want to get too sidetracked. No, this but, uh, this show is all the inconsistent oh, okay. podcast with Rob Hayes is all about he dropped being in. sidetracked. Okay, good. Well, Hannibal dropped in on Star Bar. You've done Star Bar a million times. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, Venue. yeah. Shout One out to time Rodney. Hannibal dropped in. I was and, on that show. And, and uh, his back was on the wall, and he basically erased my name. Oh, that's off hilarious. Because it's chalk. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. But yeah, he, he saw me do my set. And I didn't know he saw it, but I had gone up before him. I leave because it's a long, it was a long lineup. I get a slice of pizza to come. I come back. This guy Simon Hubner, uh, shout out to Simon. Uh, he's like he's like shake. He, he looks like kind of a scary looking whitish guy to me too. <laughs> and he's shaking, excited when I come back. He's like, dude, oh, I, Hannibal just came up to me, man. He said, "Great set." He said, "He said I loved your joke about the such and such." He thought I was you, man. And I was just <laughs> like, "Wow, that's great!" All right, oh, thank man. you, Simon. Yeah, totally missed that compliment. But uh, shout out to Simon for telling me that, and shout yeah, out to yeah. Hannibal. Glad you liked the joke. I don't even remember what it was, but uh, heck yeah! Oh yeah, so riff raff, right? Right. So uh, <laughs> he comes out like two and a half hours late. And then I guess to fire up the crowd, he tried to bring out a, a football player. And I'll never forget, it was Marlon Brown. Do you remember Marlon Brown? No. So that's important because most of the people in the crowd didn't know who he was either. But <laughs> yeah. that just made it funnier, you know? He right. brought, he was good and he, um, with for the dogs. And then he uh, went to the Ravens, I believe. He got drafted by the Ravens. He oh, was a good a player. Dog. Yeah. But he wasn't like the most famous guy. Right, right, So I right. think it might have just been a guy that Riff Raff knew went there. So he's like... Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Marlon Brown. And people cheer just because he's doing that. But Marlon <laughs> looked very shy and just walked out and just went like this and then went right back backstage. Right, right. It was very funny to watch that. Just like, Athens, I think he was expecting, you know. Athens, chances are they're going to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and I'm sure uh, some people did, you know. A dog. But it know, felt like Marlon, yeah. he just looked kind of awkward up there. It's just like, what are you doing right, at a Riff right. Raff concert, you know? But it was a great. Uh, it was it was a good time. Shout out to Riff Raff. I feel like I feel like there was like maybe ten or eleven players that people knew yeah. when I was at school. Yeah, yeah. But like two of them were like headed to the NFL for sure. And like, that, well, now it's like ten of them. I mean, yeah, they're so yeah. spoiled now. When I yeah. was there, we could never beat Alabama. You well, know? I mean, maybe maybe five of them went to the NFL, but like two yeah. of them was like yeah, yeah, first round, first for sure. Eight. You know, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now they just whoop everybody's ass. Although they did lose to Alabama last year, which was crazy. But. And they got penalized, and it doesn't make sense. You run the table. Yeah, you're the you know back to back champions. But you know they tried to end the dynasty, but it's all good. We getting revenge this year, y'all. I think so. Uh, have you ever heard Riff Raff's freestyle on Sway in the Morning? Yes, yes, I have. It's probably the only one that's guaranteed that. Uh, it's guaranteed that that it is a freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what because I was just gonna say. Sway daps him up. Yeah, yeah. And then he's the first thing he says is handshakes and hugs. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, how do you even know? Yeah, what yeah. would he even have said if Sway didn't dap him up? You like, know. Well, that's how great. That's greatness, though. Yeah. It's it, well. It's the Kanye. I guess we'll never know. We'll know? never know. Yeah, yeah. 
and shakes hugs. You want me outside? You want to see me with pancakes and drawers? Take your fat ass to sleep. I'm jumping out the candy coat of Grim Reaper G. I put you to sleep. I put you six feet deep when you're in the ground. I blaze pine. I let my top down. I could have played for Washington Redskins. Six points for a touchdown. I might give you a six point diamond. What is the what, what is the consensus I'm, uh, on on Riff Raff? What do people? Because I'm not I'm not uh, invested enough to follow people's opinions of certain folks you know he's a reality star yeah in my yeah. eyes yeah is that what I, if someone said who is that guy yeah. that's what you would say you wouldn't I say would, he's a rapper you wouldn't say i would that. say he is a rapper yeah but he started on a reality show okay yeah 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 so like, that is, so that explains my intro to riffraff is not a song yeah yeah, yeah. my <laughs> intro to riffraff it's, is it's this right farnsworth here. bentley trying to like teach him manners yeah okay and then music after that. Fair. He was on From G's to Gents. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember yeah, that show. Yeah, 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 Where yeah. Where Fonzworth Bentley, like, there's all these, like, guys and they're, like, troubled, you was know, thugs v- or whatever. Was that MTV or VH1? Uh, it's... Such a great era that was. I still do. I want to say MTV. Yeah, yeah. But it... It feels like VH1. That was basically the men's charm school. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it, that's exactly Which what it might, is. It might have been it's a after spin charm off school. of, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But charm school was only people from Flavor of Love. Yes. Jesus and Jens, they just found they just, crazy guys. They people. just found crazy guys? <laughs> they just <laughs> found guys that were nuts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A pimp my ride for, you know, crazy right, guys. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, pimp my friend. Pimp my friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, yeah. yeah. Or maybe unpimp my friend. He's mm-hmm, doing, he's doing mm-hmm. too much pimping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. my friend off the street. Get him out. Get him yeah, on. Yeah. Get him to stop being a water bottle boy. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, put on a shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that was a fantastic era of television. I still have a bit about uh, Flavor of Love. It was one of my favorite shows. Of yeah. All time. yeah, it was made in a vacuum. Yeah, it still holds up. Of course, it you still can holds still up. watch it. There's That's nothing what I, topical about it yeah yeah they did you could tell they didn't know when it was going to come out for sure and there's no like like every reference in there is like evergreen yeah you yeah. know beyonce luther vandross these are that was that my exist. covid show that was my covid show when it when it was like oh we're locking down for real yeah flavor of love was one of the up. few reality shows you could still watch yeah. like that yeah yeah, yeah yeah and it was in tandem with rock of love that was the brett michaels version is Rock of Love good? Because I didn't really watch it. It's like pretty entertaining. That. I it's just kind of like Brett Michaels. It is, would be on. Brett Michaels is not as entertaining as Flavor Flav is. Yeah, he doesn't does have he, the catchphrase. He doesn't have the, the, the. Does he have a big rig? Uh, yeah. I think it's big. <laughs> I think it's Big John. <laughs> it, was so, it was somebody like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know, dog. It's up to you, Flav. No, like, I remember because the line was yeah. He 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 had big like Rick gave him nothing. Yeah, yeah. Every episode. <laughs> What should I do? I got two <laughs> bodies. I got one clock. I don't know. He's like, that's a lot of bodies. It's a lot of clocks. That's a lot of clocks. A lot of bodies. Some decisions you got to make. Right. right, right. <laughs> no information. No, no help. No help. Yeah. So he's like, all right. So should I bring back New York for season two? That's gonna be. That's gonna be another clock. I guess that's gonna be tough. Yes. You know. I'll talk to the clock. People. I'll talk to the clock people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he brought. Uh, he brought her back. Uh. What was the list? I was I was listing them on stage for a minute. Okay. It was it was uh You wanna go season one or you wanna go season, season so two? So I started with season one, which is Hoops season New York, one, Pumpkin, Goldie, Hoops. Smiley, Hottie, Red Ooh. Oyster, Sweetie Peaches, Serious, Ooh. Apples, Dimples, Georgia, Miss Latin, Brain, oh Bubbles, my God. Cherry, <laughs> Picasso, Shells, and Smokey. Then you go season two. <laughs> wait, which, wait, 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 uh, okay. wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> How did you read them off that fast? Because I've been doing a bit about it. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Peaches has I, she's come to the skull. Hey, um, ha, wait, has she really? Or Miss Georgia? It, it was, I believe it's Georgia. Cam Keys just did a show. With, do you know Cam Keys? Shout out to Cam yeah, Keys. Yeah, yeah. He out just to did Cam a Keys. show with her somewhere. And uh, is it, was it George? I think and it was I know, Georgia. And I, I know Goldie has has done some sets in Atlanta. It was either before. Georgia or Goldie. I can't remember okay. which one. One of the yeah, ones yeah. with a G. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, she's very funny. She's Georgia very funny used on the to show. Open for uh, Donnell Rollins for a second. Uh, I, that doesn't yeah, surprise yeah. me. She was very funny on the show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I didn't know they came out of Skull though. Too. Yeah, yeah. I wish. 
I've, I've seen T.I. there. That's my last uh, celebrity, which also we don't have to get into with that whole saga, but it was very funny. What? The T.I. saga of Atlanta uh, comedy. You're saying it like it's over. Well, he hasn't come back and done Star Bar and The Laughing Skull, and I think it ended with the, I don't know how many people can name drop, but I think the, the Lauren Knight thing kind of is where it climaxed, and then. I don't know. He's still on the road. I'm not saying he's not still doing stand up. I mean, doing stand up out here. I mean, at at my level, that's what I mean. Like when yeah, I would yeah. still regularly see him at Star Bar and the uh, Laughing Skull and I the types you. of rooms I that I do. You. you know, yeah, yeah. I know he's still out there doing stand up. He's still out there, doing, yeah, 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 doing a lot of time. Somewhere. Shout out to shout out to Cliff. Nice guy. <laughs> That was the one of the jokes you I made. You call him Cliff to his face. I did, Rob. You did? Yeah, that's part of the, the story. So I was on, so they go back the next week. You know the whole story, right? Like him and Lauren, I, they I went viral, the Breakfast Club's online. talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they still had to do the show the next week. Right. And now it's standing room only. Yeah. And T.I.'s there. And uh, Lauren was still trying to run it like an open mic. So she put up just some guy first. Yeah. And the whole crowd, you could feel them like, what? This right. is the thing that we're coming to see? Yeah. So she recognized that, and she goes, okay, your next comedian, we're going to shake things up. Your next comedian is white. And I was like, oh, it's going to be Will Foskey, my buddy Will. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw him going through his pad. I'm like, He's okay. been on the show. Shout out, Will. Shout out to Will Foskey. <laughs> Will a very good friend of mine. at our bar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Lauren goes, he's also very creepy looking. And I was like, oh, that shit, that's me. So then she put me up. Yeah, no, she brings people up terribly. Uh, no, but yeah, but that's part of the fun of the show. You know? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Is it? To me, it is. All right. Because you just give her right back. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You just give her all the shit you can right back, and that's part of the, the trade, you know? Yeah. But I'm also, you know, I'm closer with Lauren than other uh, folks that she's had on the show. So, you know, right. she'll say crazy shit about people she doesn't even know, and I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. what are you going to do, you know? But that was one of the jokes I made was that, because I had met T.I. at Laughing Skull, and he was very nice backstage yeah. and all this. So I was jealous because I prefaced it by saying he's one of my famous rap, uh, favorite rappers of all time. But I only got to meet Clifford Harris. Lauren got to meet T.I. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because he popped off in her face and went crazy. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah, so I called him Clifford Harris in the room. And then I all talked right. to him for like five minutes. He was a, But did you say Cliff? When I was talking to him, yeah, but I didn't even say T.I. Like, I didn't even, <laughs> you don't do that. Once it's been established that we know who each other what are. What you mean, you know? Nicholas? I, that's what you do. Yeah? You just say, yeah, Nick, to the person that you're talking to. No, I get that, but I just got <laughs> off stage, so it's like, there's no, I didn't even, what am I supposed to say? Hello, T.I., <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just walked over, they just started talking, because I just got off stage, you know? Right. And he explained to me that the reason he called Lauren a bitch is because he's from the hood. And things are different there. So I just kind of I just kind of nodded. I don't and, know why he had to explain that to you. <laughs> I, he felt the need to. He felt you know maybe you that was just Cliff said coming he's out. One of your favorite rappers, yeah. and he's still like, yeah, I don't know if this guy knows I'm from the hood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the I'm a King music video, like I don't think that that's you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's very funny. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that was a that was a fun. Crazy saga of, yeah. of things that happened. But shout out to all the people involved. Uh, everybody got out unscathed, and it sounds like Cliff is still doing stand up. He's still Cliff out is there. Still somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Cliff. But uh, yeah, I don't even know how we got into that. Oh, from Flavor of Love. So that yeah, was season, season one. Two. <laughs> oh, I can still do it. Yeah, what's season two? Okay, so that was delicious. Then they brought back New York again. Oh, you. So you're going in reverse order. Then you got. Well, no, Delicious won. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I did on season yeah. one. It was yeah, hoops. yeah. Okay. So Delicious. Yeah, yeah. New York, Crazy Boots, Bucky, Buck Wild, okay. Nibbles, Beautiful, Like That, Toasty, Patience, Tiger, Something, Spunky, Wire, Bama, Chocolate, Hood, H-Town, and Something is H -Town not him blanking out. That's her name. I think I'm going to call you yeah. something. So he called her something. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. She's the one that took a dump on the floor. I don't know the answer to that, but that did happen. I don't yeah. know. I don't know who took the I dump. I think that was something. That sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. We actually talked about this. Shout out to another Atlanta comic, Khaled El Chufia. We have a podcast, me, him, and Sean Kenny, who's also been on your podcast. That maybe 
he kept no, her. Like, yeah. <laughs> that well, episode's out. But she got a clock after she took a dump on the steps. You know? Yeah. And apparently, because uh, I don't even remember this, but Caleb brought this up. Apparently he was like, yeah, I just, I find her trustworthy now, you know, like, because she owned <laughs> up to it. She like, yeah. oh, she's like, yes, I took a shit on the stairs. I'm sorry. And he was like, I respect that. I trust her now, you know. I think she got she a clock. Pro- she probably thought it was going to cut it out. Yeah, maybe. And you know what's wild maybe. is they show that on the premiere. Yeah. <laughs> so it's my first day in Athens. Okay. School hasn't started yet. Yeah. It's a Sunday. Okay. I'm meeting people for the first time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, Flavor of Love uh-huh. starts tonight. Yes. We got to get inside. I was the same way. I was the same way. At 9 o'clock. You had to watch to it. To watch Flavor of Love. So yeah. me that was our and bachelor. a bunch of strangers I never met. Yeah. Get together. Right. We're all smart people. We all about to go to college. We're all trying to impress each other. Yeah. You know, we're all trying to like, you know, like we, when you first get to college, you're trying to, you know, show like, yep. hey, I have good taste. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. But that was and good taste at the time. we all watched it. Yeah. And then I could tell some people were like, I'm never going to watch this show yeah. ever again. Yeah, yeah. A lady took a dump on the floor. Yep. And didn't get sent home. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, ha- I have other things to do. This is not how I'm starting my future. Yeah, but I bet you made friends, too. They were like, this is the greatest show I've ever seen. This lady took a dump, and I she's am, still I on did, the show. No, I did make some friends. That's what I'm sure. saying. Yeah, and you yeah. don't need those people that don't want to watch episode two after those fireworks on episode one, you know? It was crazy. Let them go. You it cut them loose. Nuts. Now, imagine being the women that did not get a clock. <laughs> And the lady that shit on the steps got a yeah, clock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're still out there. They're you know? still out there. Who knows what they're what kind of trauma that put into their head? Right. Are they questioning? Should I have taken a shit? Also, is Come that on. what Flav wanted? You know, Buck Wild cultural appropriation. Buck Wild. Oh yeah, there was a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to your accent? Yeah, I don't know. When I get scared, I just yes, I don't know. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's exactly it's what she said. To get Buck Wild. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh oh man, there were so many gyms. But that always needs to be called because I mean I've had white friends like that too. With mm-hmm, the, with the mm-hmm. code, doing the code switching, the reverse code switching from white people. You have know? you have you followed? Yo, what's up? You don't talk like that. What are you doing? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I it it does bother me. Yeah. But you know, like like Buck Wild. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes cops come out. Yeah, yeah. You hear their real voice. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. you start hearing about their parents. Yeah, when it's time Whoa. to yeah, when it's time to switch up. You, you had a dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you just talk to my father. I mean, dude, I'll go to. <laughs> I'll do like a. I'll do a frat uh, show every once in a while. G- Georgia Tech or, mm-hmm. or UGA and some of the frat bros. Yo, bet, bet, flex, fleek. Yeah, I'm like, you don't talk to your <laughs> mom like that. Shut up. Yeah. You know? But whatever. What are you gonna do? Um, have you followed Bucky into Love and Hip Hop? I have not. Okay. I do remember Bucky. So Bucky yeah. does charm school. Okay. You know, Monique uh got rid of their nicknames. Yes. Yes. Uh, you gotta remove there's the, a famous remove scene the barcode. <laughs> where she got rid of uh Safari's nickname. Okay. She tried to. She was like, Safari, what's your real name? And yeah, she yeah. was like, It's Safari. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, wait, what? That's that's not a nickname. And she's like, no, I never got a nickname because she she's the one that got in a fight before they even got the names. Before I they even got see. the meat flame okay. over the lip chap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she never got a name. So she never got a name. And then, but Monique still thought it was but, a name. But no one told Monique that she didn't have a name. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah, but you could because you also could see Flavor Flav calling I'm a woman. Call you Safari. I'm call you Safari. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you seem like like you are animal. Yeah. Type. I'm gonna call you Safari. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Driving her through the town, windows are down. We're on a safari right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm gonna call yeah. you safari. You hot. Yeah. I'm gonna call you safari. Yeah, it could just be temperature related <laughs> or looks related. Right, right. I mean, it's better than something. It's you know? be- I'm gonna call you <laughs> something. Yeah. yeah, that's what you know. Like, hey, man. You know Flame, what time it is. Flame is <clears throat> phoning it in. He looks at the shit on the stairs. You know what time it is. One of my <laughs> favorite things about, about season two. Is that the Three Six Mafia is on there? They just won the Academy Award. Yeah, yeah. And so now they are on Flavor of Love. Yep. And they ask 
the girls to sing a Flavor Flav song. Yeah. And no one can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody. Oh, dude, but the, all of that stuff. Remember when we had them cook and the lady microwaved a, a raw chicken? Right. <laughs> that's another, that's hottie. That's another Hottie. level crazy. Yes, yes, yes. But <clears throat> nobody, like, no one knew one Flavor Flav song. Well, of like course this. not. It's, it's all clout based. Everybody knows that, yeah. you know? So you almost don't feel as bad that he's just naming them whatever he wants to name them. It's like, you don't right. know who the fuck he is either. Right, you know? right. Yeah. It started off with him and Bridget Nielsen. It's so crazy. So Do Bucky you... found her way into loving hip hop. Yes. As Shay. Yeah. Like one of the friends okay. of one of the artists or whatever. But it was like, wait a minute. You were you were Bucky. Yeah. And yeah. then like she just started like, yeah, infiltrating all like whenever there's a loving hip hop show and they're like, nah, we need somebody to like cause some drama of course yeah they just bring in bucky well that's also why they brought in new york back on flavor of love they knew that was going to be chaos mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm. but once you get into any of these things it's like coaching in the nfl once you get in there yeah you're not gonna be head coach maybe on the next team but you'll you can be defensive coordinator for the jets you know sure sure then you'll see that guy like oh yeah wasn't he just with the patriots right right, right. it's the same thing with reality tv once you just get in the universe and you're you're good at it. Yeah, you, then you can hop on any other stuff. Yeah, I just met this guy the other night. Shout out to Tanner from The Bachelor. He they had him on Bachelor in Paradise. There's a million spinoffs. Yeah, you just got to keep your pager on. You stay stay in shape, stay fit. Right. You get that call. Hey, we need you. Suit up. You know. The best probably is when you get a call for another country. Although now yeah, yeah. we're starting to get other countries' reality shows. Sure. We're starting like now you can be like, oh yeah, you should watch Love Island UK. And UK, it's like, yeah. What? That's not for us. Right, 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 right. That's for them. Yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> then, you know, Love Island's got an accent on the, you know, the announcer's got an accent, so maybe maybe none of it's for us. I don't know, man. There's so many now. But you just got to get in there, and now they'll plug you in on anything. They'll yeah. find a place for you. You just got to get the eyeballs on you. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. is Bucky's pretty popular on Love and Hip Hop, I'm guessing? No. Or? Oh, she's not. not. <laughs> I don't oh, think right. so. Well. I don't think so. I just think that like sometimes they're boring. Yeah. And they need someone who's less boring. Well, she was good can, enough like, on she got in some fights on Flavor of Love. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So they must have thought there was potential there. She'll fight, but like not like not enough to like they'll be like, I'm pressing charges. Yeah, yeah, but they'll yeah. be like, Man, yeah. next time I see her, I'm jo- throwing a drink in her face. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gotta but be something like, iconic. She was like on Loving Hip Hop Atlanta, and then she was on Loving Hip Hop Miami. Well, she's doing something she's that they Hip Hop Hollywood. Yeah, she's like, doing yeah, something they she's, like. They keep having her out. Around. Shout, you out know? shout out to Bucky. Uh, Pumpkin. Pumpkin was on like five different reality shows, I think. Really? Yeah, I, like Next Bus or something. Remember Next? Pumpkin was on a bunch of stuff, I think, prior to Flavor of Flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah, r- yeah. just running the circuit until yeah, you hit. Yeah, you yeah. know? And now everyone knows the spit when she spit in New York's face. Man, she should be lucky that that was a different time. Of course. Without. Right place, the right time. Level of social media, right that place, we right have time. Now. Well, I'll tell. Well, hey, that could have been the first Hawk Tua. You know, I mean, nah, now, now that we're... is not nah, because Hawk Tua is celebrated. Okay, <laughs> spit on that thing and yeah, give yeah, me yeah, is yeah. not the same. No, no, as, no, no, I know, I know. No, she definitely Hawk and definitely spit. She but, Hawk Tua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the wrong but, direction. But nah, that's not yeah, that's yeah. not what it's about. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but. She definitely would have gone ultra viral if Twitter was around. People would have hated her. People would have, you know, right. but she just played right. with that, you know. You just, you can always manipulate, you know, the popularity, the eyeballs, mm-hmm. whatever it is. As long mm-hmm. as you didn't kill somebody, you know. She probably would have got her ass beat. That's probably. Yeah. Yeah. That No, that's what I'm saying. But her, then, like, you know, yeah. now, now, now the trial, you know. Now you take people to court. You press right, charges, right. put the neck brace on, you know. Because, like, then the What's only time the somebody could trial. see them is is the reunion. Yeah. Lala Anthony yeah, would, yeah. you know, host the reunion and yep. then, yeah. Yep. Um, Just stir in the pot. That's all they would do. I, did, I, I had no clue this is where we would end up. I think it's great. Of love. Yeah, Flavor of Love is such, a, <laughs> such an iconic show. And, did you uh, watch uh, the, For the Love of Ray J? No, maybe like an episode because it was uh, the same, uh, you know. Oh, I, don't Cinco. Think so. I didn't like when they started to get like I, I think they should have went weirder. Yeah. And they went like 
kind of a little cooler. Like, like for the love of Ray J, it's like, I could kind of believe it. I think at that point, then, though, you're also just watering that. Like, nothing's going to match the original For the love product. of the game, it's yeah. like the game can still make a hit. Like, so, what? So, they, so the number of spinoffs they did was, it goes uh, Flavor of Love, yeah. then I Love New York. Yeah, and then real chance, real chance of love. Remember the two real and real chance, chance, the brothers. Of love. They right. got their own third degree spinoff. Yeah, the stallionaires, from fucking the stallionaires. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and then the rock of love people, rock of love people, the chance of love people, <laughs> and the flavor of love, and right. the I love New York people what all a, competed. What a family on tree! I need money. <laughs> you remember that show? No, I don't remember. It was I love like money. a survivor type show. Okay, but it was just like with the, the best of the celeb reality yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. To like, yeah. This is still for, uh, VH1. VH1 is still, for yeah. a cash prize. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then what? And then blossomed uh, Jersey Shore at some point. Well, what happened is I think somebody died, and there was like some kind of cover up and lawsuit yeah. that destroyed the company that that was doing celeb reality. Yeah, yeah. And so then that's when like Love and Hip Hop comes in, and it's a totally different production company. Yeah, yeah. And. Jersey Shore happens on the MTV, and so that VH1 like like whole you know spinoff that yeah. started with the surreal life with yeah, Flavor yeah. Flav and and Bridget Nielsen, Bridget meet, Nielsen, and yeah. then they do Strange Love, and then she breaks his heart, and then he does Flavor of Love. Yeah, it's a whole it's yeah. like old school TV, yeah, yeah, lore, but it's of course reality television because she was always like forget about how many times he brought back New York. Bridget Nielsen was always on the table, like they were taking bubble baths in yeah. between episodes together. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So it was just a crazy uh, mm-hmm. whole thing there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Foofy, foofy, foofy. I was just trying to think. What was the nickname? I couldn't think of it. That's trivia. Yeah. If you know that she called him Foofy, that's the that's a watcher right there. That's mm-hmm. a flavor of love mm-hmm. watcher. Uh, Nick, what's your favorite color sky? Favorite color sky? I think I think blue. I mean, I'm a, I'm a pretty. Uh, wait, is this just about the sky? Sky? This isn't like yeah. a trick question. Nah. I'm. A, I mean, I like it when it's nice out. I think. Yeah. Okay. I think people would think I like it when it's dark and gray and. <laughs> Because that's just kind of the vibe I give off, I guess. Sometimes. But I like a nice day. I like. Okay. Wa- I mean, that's why I like it out here, L.A. All it's right. It's very few cloudy gray days out here, you know? Yeah. It's just too expensive. You got to pay for that shit, you know? Got gotcha. you. Yeah. You got to pay for the nice days. Atlanta is very hit or miss. Very hit or miss. A lot of overcast. A lot of overcast, but a nice day is appreciated. I, I guess you could say that. In a way, too, yeah. yeah. You appreciate it more in Atlanta, whereas L.A., they're just handing them out out mm-hmm, here, you know? Mm-hmm. We, we go through the rough ones to appreciate the good ones. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Spitting some wisdom out Heck on the podcast. Yeah. That's what we do here. Yeah. Nick Murphy, everybody, uh, anything you want to tell the people? Anything you want to promote? Sure. I'm uh, doing a little, a little run here. I don't know if I can call it a tour. It's only like five... Venues, but there are no rules. Okay, you could call it a tour. I'm going on to. tour, guys. I'm yeah. going on tour, doing the comedy catch in Chattanooga, Tennessee, next weekend. Then we go to Taft City in Austin, Texas, and then uh, Helium in St. Louis. Good nights in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Helium in Indianapolis. And those are going to be amazing shows. Yeah. Uh, I'm very excited to start doing clubs and stuff. Come on. It's very cool. Are, are these you? These are me. I'm going to be in the smaller rooms. Yeah. But, uh, but it's me. Yeah. He- heck yeah, dog. That's that's great. Chattanooga, we're bringing back my buddy, Cal Del Chufi. He's going to be opening. Come on. It's going to be a great time. Uh, five shows. We did two last year. Now they want five. So there five. you go. Five. Yeah. Dope. Dope, dope. I'm, ex- I'm excited about it, yeah. we uh, Again, Spicy No Spicy is the podcast that I have with uh, Khaled and our buddy Sean at God Kidney. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, other than that, just doing spots and hanging out with people. Getting to hang with great folks like Rob Hayes, great Come comics, on. great Come comics on. like Rob Hayes. Let's talk about it. And we're hopping in the store tonight, doing the main room. That's going to be crazy. Ooh, with, all right. Uh, Steve Fury. Shout out in to the, Steve in Fury. In the past. Yes. By the time they hear this, this, this in will, the past, yeah, this you're you're not going to be able to go yeah, yeah, yeah. because we'll be long gone. But it's going to be a cool show. So shout out to Steve for for putting me on that. Yeah, dope. 
And to uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and shout out uh, Josh Sandoval also for uh, at Ice House. He's been great. Has helped me out a lot as well out here. So shout out to Josh. Great dude. Dope. Things are things are happening, man. Things cool. are happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're in Denver, catch me at the High Plains Comedy Festival. Get out to High Plains. I've heard. September I've heard that's a great festival. Nineteenth through twenty first. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be a blast. My eyes probably gonna be red. We're going to be having a good time. But that's where you're supposed to do that stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, I should have yeah. said my dates, too. But they're all on my Instagram. No, nah, you said them. I mean, you said the places. I didn't, I didn't say the dates, but yeah. You could say, yeah. Just go to the Instagram. It's all there. Go to the Instagram. Nick it's 10 Murphy. There. Yeah. Yes. It's been the Inconsistent Podcast with Rob Hayes. Loved it. Had a great time. Kevin Garnett sucks. No! <laughs>